Um, Antonio, I wanted to get, I wanted to talk to you about something, <clears throat> a situation that I believe you found yourself in is when, oh, all, yeah. <laughs> when this stuff was all going down, when it all started handing down, when cruise ships were getting stranded, uh, when shit was going down, you were on a cruise. What? Yes. Yeah. So uh, the CDC said basically like uh, the day that we were going on the cruise. Um, well, I'll give you the, the this part of the story first. Um, Dusty was going on a cruise and uh, he's he's with a new label and stuff like that. And um, the, the, basically this cruise was all of the label's fans. And then like a few other people were going to be on board the cruise. It was like Royal Caribbean. They were going to pretty much take it over. So, um, so it was going to be like all dirt rock. The, the label and they wanted to talk to me about potentially doing some movie work in the future investing in a movie or something like that and Dusty was like well man while we're on the cruise ship we should shoot a music video because what other better way to shoot a music video would be on a cruise ship and I'm like that's excellent so I go on the cruise ship and uh, the day that we did all of the other cruise ships were ported and they wouldn't let them leave um, they were just kind of like sitting for days on on the port and then um, ours was able to leave, but they had 2,000 cancellations. So it was pretty much just like the, the fans of the label that was on the entire cruise ship. And then when we finally got out to sea, the day that we went out to sea, the CDC said no cruise ships or whatever. So we were kind of all spooked and we all just heard what was going on, you know, just all hearsay and stuff that was on Facebook and stuff like that. So we finally made it to Mexico and they said that Trump shut down all the ports and you're going to be stuck in Mexico and we were scared we were concerned everybody on the cruise ship was concerned that if we get ported overnight in mexico that like the cartel was gonna like flood the boat you know and uh take everybody's stuff so it was super scary um that didn't end up happening we were super lucky and we were able to come back home and uh since nobody on the cruise ship had coronavirus we were like <laughs> maybe in one of the safest places in the world but it was like me and buckshot and crucifix and dusty and just a bunch of really Matt trees, a bunch of really, really great guys. And, um, it was a really, really cool, cool time and stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, man, it was like extremely scary at that time. Cause we only knew, you know, like what people were saying. And at the time, like the day we left, like NCAA shut down, the MLB was like the next day we were like, this is serious, you know? Yeah. So we didn't expect any of that stuff at all. And, uh, yeah, we were, we were out at sea during all that. Damn. So, <laughs> so, um, were you were you guys scared of actually getting the virus or just scared at what was going on like with all I think both man yeah like so um we were all like super careful like on the ship you know like there wasn't like a ton of social gathering to be honest with you because everybody was pretty spooked so the only time that we really did that was when like um the artists would perform because the artists like had to perform for the fans on the ship just like you know like a cruise ship has shows and stuff mm -hmm. like Sometimes they'll do like a Grease, like a Grease mock-up performance, like a reenactment of the Broadway show Grease or something. But instead of that, it was this band, uh, you know, this several bands from this label, they would do like performances or whatever. So um, that's pretty much like the only time that people would congregate because people were still pretty concerned and nervous, you know, that then there were still people who were like, oh, it's propaganda and it's just fodder from, you know, the media and stuff like that. Still, really early on, people thought it was just like fake, you know. Yeah. yeah. But um but then once we like weren't we we were we made it to Mexico and we found out that we might not be able to leave the port, we might have to stay at Mexico overnight. That's when people started freaking out. Yeah, I guarantee. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cuz uh, even people were texting me and saying get off the ship and then just fly home because uh like you're going to if you're going to be stuck there, you're going to be in a bad situation. Yeah, man, you was in an episode of Better Call Saul. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Or the location scouts for uh, Narcos. I heard they went down to Mexico just like location scouting for the Netflix show Narcos, and like they ki like the cartel killed all the location scouts for real. Yeah, man. Yeah, they got murked. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. I did not hear that. Wait, say yeah, that again. Yeah, all the all of the Narcos location scouts were actually killed by the Mexican. Yeah, yeah the cartel last year. Cartel? Yep. Yeah. They was down there. They was down there literally looking for locations to shoot and getting permits and stuff, and they saw the wrong thing and. <laughs> Wrong Man. place, wrong time, and they got John. murked for real. Yeah. yeah. What do you got? Yeah. Narcos location scout shot to death in Mexico. Local media reports. Carlos M Munoz Portal, a location scout for a Nexusco Narco, was found shot to death while looking for locations for the show in Mexico. 
according to the local media reports. Holy shit. Christ, Damn. Yeah. It's crazy. That's some so, shit. yeah, so location. Yeah, a lot of us knew about that, and that was – we were already concerned. You know, we've all seen Hell stuff yeah. on TV. So <laughs> uh, having to port overnight, you're just completely defenseless because, I mean, what kind of security does the cruise ship have, really? Okay. You know, nothing. Yeah, they could run on that boat easy. easy. Like Vikings, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know? 